So good day all. Last day of the Flemington Carnival tomorrow. We've got two Group 1s, and we're going to have a look at them for Top Sport. I've got Trevor Lawson on the line. How are you going, Trev? Good, Mark. Uh, yeah, so the first of the Group 1s tomorrow is down the straight, the uh, the Group 1 Sprint Classic over the 1,200 metres. So just looking at Top Sport's market, um, they've got Bivouac, $3.60 favourite. Narrowly from Nature Strip at $3.80, then... Libertini six dollars, Santrain Elaine nine dollars, Haydock nine dollars fifty, and Zutori at ten dollars leads the rest into double figures. Um, might just yeah again just start with your speed map um, up the straight, and I know you uh, normally so talk. Nature Nature Strip will just lead. Yep, um, and he'll he can basically go wherever he likes. Yep. So they've gone the outside each day. So you think they'd go the outside again? Mm. And I know um, you're normally pretty, um, pretty keen on horses that you know I've had a run down the straight or run down the straight before and a bit of experience and form. Is is there any here that haven't that are a bit of a concern or uh, not really? No. So um, all the ones actually in the market have yeah. been down yeah. the straight and have. Well, Libertini got beat a fair way in the in the Coolmore last year, but yep. um, and Standout haven't really got in the market. So yeah, of the chances, um, they've all sort of been down at ran okay down at No worries. So yeah, Nature Strips out in race nine and you'd sorry, out in barrier nine. And um, yeah, you'd think they'd go to the outside and follow him. Yeah, he'll just go out to you know, <clears throat> whatever they think to be the best ground. Um, and he'll sort of go from there. Um, yeah, he's a funny, like he's he's been a good <laughs> horse. He, he, to me, he's a what I would call a time trialer in mm. that he's an extremely fast horse, he runs extremely fast times, but when he's left alone on yeah. his own, yep, and he has no horses around it pressuring and he can get into his own rhythm, yep. So, um and also, his best runs, sort of on reflection, have been on tracks with given it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if you go back, sort of, I go back to sort of February two thousand and nineteen. Mm-hmm. You know, he returned like a figure of sixty-seven on my scale, um, winning first up. Yep. Uh, then he went, he went too hard in the Oakley Plate. He got pressured. He sort of had enough. He came back and won in Sydney and then he went to Brisbane and got beat. Mm. And then um, he won, he got beat first up uh, last spring in Sydney and then he came and he won, um, what is it, the Manicata? He won uh, Grand Final Eve night over yep. the 1,000. Yep, the, man, the uh, Moyer. Yeah, but he only just won. He was sort of narrow win. He sort of rated down off his best, but rated okay. Mm. Then he went back to Sydney for and ran uh, fourth in the Everest. Yep. And then he came here for this race, yep. and they left him alone. Um, you know, on a class thing, he basically went out uh, four and a half lengths slower than the class par for that type of horse, you know, for a group one horse where most of his runs have been quick mm. and then he ran home six lengths quicker. Mm. So they just couldn't get anywhere near him. Yeah, um, you know, he smashed them. And he returned a figure, like on my scale, 69 and a half. So basically outside Winks and outside uh, Humidor to run behind Winks, it's the highest rating I've got in the database for a fair yeah. while. Like yeah. A fair few years. Um, if he... If he returned anywhere in that figure, they just wouldn't see which way he went. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, and but again, that was on a good four track. And then mm. he resumed in the Lightning, um, and was woeful behind um, Love and Gabby. He sort of basically punctured. Mm. Then he went back to Sydney and went over the thousand, but on a slow track. And then he won. Uh, I think it's the TJ, uh, yep. on a heavy track. And then he resumed. Uh, first up here over a thousand and he sort of had ball and muscle sort of bothering them a bit and then second up he was not he had another horse up around him and then last start he 
they went really hard. They went seven lengths quick, or leader went seven lengths quicker than the you know par for like that type of horse, which was Eduardo. It went, you know, they basically ran. Um, I think Tiger uh, Nature Strip ran its first six hundred meters in like thirty three, and change. This is in the Everest. In the Everest, yeah. Yep. Um, so again, he didn't get his own way in front. Yeah. Um, but it's just hard to, it's like, well, what figure do you pick? <laughs> and, you know, has he had enough? Or, you know, and it's, it, you know, the track will be, you know, it will be good three by, to, you know, tomorrow. Yep. Um, so I basically put him in at 64 and a half, which is about three lengths off what he did on this race last year. And it's a bit better than what he did in the Everest. Yep. Uh, and I've got him five dollars, but equal favourite at five dollars. Yeah, well, he's, so, as I said, he's... he could, as I say, sorry, he, he could sure. win easily, or he could just punch her and run nowhere. Yeah. Gets. Well, it's it's probably a little bit hard to mark him. As you said, you're marking him a bit up on his Everest run. It's it's probably a bit hard to mark him, you know, anywhere else really. I mean, you could take a leap of faith and. Say he's going to run like he did last year, but it's yeah, yeah. yeah. All you can really the, do is go on form. Yeah, just that second last run, I thought he, you know, when he got beat four lengths, mm. uh, I thought he was a bit disappointing that day. You can forgive the Everest, you can forgive a couple of others. Um, so, you know, yeah, I basically rated him to what he did. Um, I've rated him. Well, higher than what he did when he won the Moya, yep. and rated him about what he did when he went over the thousand at Randwick. Um, so, enough. yeah, so you'll, he, you've got that puts him around five dollars. You said I've got him five dollars. Yeah, equal favourite with uh, Bivouac. Yeah, so he's three eighty at the moment, and Bivouac's three dollars sixty. So, um, yeah, yeah, pretty hard to uh, pretty hard to get them as short as the market by the looks of it. Yeah, it's just I mean, you know, at the mar- you know, my market to the, at the moment is to one uh, to eighty five percent. So, yep. um, and you know, the betting markets are <clears throat> uh, somewhere between one fifteen and one twenty five. Yeah, moment. well, it's right out at one twenty five at the moment. So that'll yeah. come in. That'll come in by yeah. race time, obviously. But um, so I've probably got them around the market price. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, after those two, who have you got next in the market from there? Uh, I've got uh, Santa Ana Lane. Um, yep. So he's nine dollars with Top Sport. Yeah, I've got him around nine dollars. Uh, yep. He ran on the other day. Just got to back. He may be looking for a bit further now, but I thought with this field, he might be able to sit a bit closer. Uh, again, it sort of depends with sort of Nature Strip. Um, the other thing with uh, Nature Strip is uh, McDonald's been rubbed out, so sort of. Um, hmm. Bowman goes yeah, on to him, yep. and uh, Bowman hasn't ridden him in a race. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so um, of his wins, uh, Michael Poy won, claimed four on him that day yep. <laughs> when he won on debut. Then Ryan Maloney, Damien Lane, Zara rode him once. Yeah. Then basically McDonald's ridden him. Uh, Bowman did trial him one day, but that's yeah. all. So, um, yeah, so I've got Santa around the lane, second pick. Uh, it'll just be as long as he can stay in, you know, stay in touch. Yep. Uh, and then Libertini is the other one. Um, he, she uh, produced a peak figure uh, first up when she beat Classic Legend. Uh and then um, she ran eighth in the Everest. Um, she rated down. Uh, she was back with uh, Classic Legend and Classic Legend sort of beat her home four lengths. Uh, when she resumed uh, last spring carnival in Sydney, she, re- she produced a similar figure. I've got it like half a kilo less. And then she basically regressed each rating. Um, so, um, and then up in the spring, she didn't come up. So I've sort of rated her 
in between basically what she did first up and what she did second up this time in, and I've got her around eleven dollars. Okay, so it's six dollars at the moment. Um, the other one I was going to ask you about was Hey Doc, won the Manicato, pretty weak Manicato, but um, won the Manicato and is nine dollars fifty for tomorrow. Yeah, so I sort of came off him. So he was just it was sort of put on for him. They went hard in front. Yep. So, Two, that's actually the two horses we uh, we backed to put each other on, yep. uh, and he just basically had to trail in behind them and was too strong late. Mm. Uh, yeah, he was sort of ten dollars. Um, he was sort of third up, so I'm yeah I'm not sort of hundred percent sure with that rating. So I sort of just come off him slightly yep. and got him sort of sixteen dollars. Um, yeah. It's just sort of you know. If you knew Nature Strip was going to run somewhere near his best, you know, which, you know, he can do, you know, 69. So even at, like if he only had to do 66, you know, he'd probably be a six to four, seven to four chance. Uh, and that's it. But it's a bit of a guesswork. You know, Bivouac's the same. Bivouac's got uh, the one big figure when he won the new market. He returned 67 and a half that day. Mm. But he's never done anywhere near it. Mm. Yeah, um, he ran on OK the other day. So, yeah, it's, it's not really a, um, a betting race at the moment. Um, we'll sort of just see what happens with the market. It's just that big question about Nature Strip, if you, uh, if you think he can go to his best or not. Yeah, well, I think, you know, Mark Roden used to have the $3 thing. You'd back him, yeah. you know, so he is over that price. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, I think Mark, Mark said that might be the three dollar thirty rule now. He reckons he's shifting. It yeah, out. yeah. <laughs> well, as I say, he's just you know he's had you know he might have had a few issues and stuff mm. like that. And, um, but he, yeah, be sort of the thing you you know you could sort of ideally you get back it in the run. But yeah, basically what will happen is if he's travelling in the run, then he'll be a you know he'll be yeah. really he'll be short anyway. So. Mm. Um, yeah, I think it's just a race I'm sort of happy to watch. And um, as I say, because you're not, you know, as I say, it wouldn't shock me if he won by two, two and a half, three lengths, and it wouldn't shock me if he ran fifth. Yeah, the great nature strip conundrum. We might, um, we might jump across and have a look at the McKinnon 